Hey y'all, so okay, so I did half of my hair already because this style for me was a doozy. So when I tell you this style was a doozy, I'm show y'all how I did it to actually get the fullness of the you know the roundness at the end. I'm telling you everything I did. So the hair that I used was Marley hair, and I also you I'm also using this. 3c really loop hair i don't think you really have to use this hair i'm literally just using hair that's left around the house because i feel like going to the beauty supply so I'll let you know so this is the really loop hair so what i'm doing is i'm cutting so this is like the marley hair out the pack i'm cutting it in half to make shorter pieces like this so i'm doing the rubber band method for this because i feel like this is what will help it um last a little bit longer so it's some it's some it's some steps in it but, but we're gonna get through it so come on so i pre-parted my hair yesterday just as a reminder just um fyi so i pre-parted my hair yesterday so i did three on the bottom row four on the next row and then three in the top row then i parted my hair i have like um a, a u-shaped parting up in here that goes like this i don't know if you guys can see like this took that part of it into four so each of these sides is four so of course in the picture it is a lady who clearly she has 4c hair she has it's 4c hair to me because when i tell you this side looks like a miniature this side yeah so this is my regular 4c hair washed it conditioned it all that good stuff oh to keep the edges down i'm using my evan edge control with the purple top this one so this is the edge control that i've been using on my hair i have been using it sparingly because what i did notice is when i go too hard in the paint with this edge control it does turn white when you cake it up too much and so i don't want it to be caked up so i'm using it i'm using it sparingly but you gotta do what you gotta do so the first thing i do is brush this out to kind of lengthen this out a little bit more so now that it's stretched out i'm gonna take some ebon edge control and just i split the hair in two just so that it's a little bit easier to get the edge control on the hair i start with the tips I should have showed y'all how much edge control I'm using because I'm not using a whole whole lot so about this much for each section and if you need more for your sections then shit use more you're gonna need a crochet needle so the supplies are gonna be a crochet needle I'm gonna say about three packs of Marley hair and one pack of I could you could do like kinky curly or i don't know just this some baby this some expression really loop i found in the house we got a bag of hair i just pulled it out it's this crochet hair i took the little band off of it and i'm making it do what it do and then if i say it already you're gonna need your crochet needle and then some type of edge control if you need edge control i don't know what kind of hair you got trying to do the style so when we do it we're gonna do it in a cross so we're gonna crochet this the hair we're gonna crochet this way then we're gonna crochet that way to kind of make like a cross so first i'm going this way there you go pull it through now i'm going to go this way or this way which make make a cross y'all this is my very first time doing this style. I had to do this whole side. The back still is not done yet, but I, I wanted to do this whole side, this whole side before I even came down to make sure that I knew exactly how I was going to show y'all how to do it. I've seen, I searched for a lot of videos on this style and everybody has a lot of different variations, but I hadn't seen any that really gave the fullness um of the style from the picture um the styles that i saw were very very beautiful everybody put their own little twist onto it but i really wanted that fullness 
that she had in the picture and it's not perfect of course because hers was perfect and we're we're imitating that so it'll never be perfect like hers but i tried to come as close as possible so you want to just make sure those is that's tight take your hand just kind of split it in three so once you have the hair parted in three, three sections, I would suggest you part it in three sections before you crochet the hair and don't be like me, uh, be work smarter. Uh, we wanna we wanna work smarter, not harder. So after that, you're gonna just braid it. You wanna make sure that you are having a firm grip on it and braiding it close to the base because you want to cover that rubber band um the videos that i saw the videos that i saw people were braiding underhanded so that's just pretty much what i'm doing i guess you could probably get the same technique you probably could get the same technique going over like regular braided not underhanded so okay i'm comfortable with that so once it's in here and I like it and all of that, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this part with this brush and I'm gonna back comb it. So I'm gonna back comb it. Back comb, back comb, back comb it. This is the method that I came up with. It is a bit tedious, but it gets the job done in the end y'all i procrastinated on this style for so long because i wanted to in my mind i kept doing it in my mind i wanted to come up with the correct concept in order to get the fullness that i desired so then you're going to take your whatever kind of curly hair this is what the hair looked like you could get this in water wave get in water wave this is just called this is called really loop it's giving water wave whatever this regular crocheting hair and so i take this hair and then I'm just gonna brush this hair out, kind of like get it a little puffy, froy. Okay. Do I got y'all all the way back? Oh, hold up. Okay. Let me back up so I don't have idea. My bad, y'all. So then, what I do is I take this, and y'all just ball it up. I ain't even, I just ball it up. I ball it up like this. Just ball it up like this. There might be people who have better techniques, but when I tell you I didn't come across a video that gave this type of fullness without, I didn't, I didn't come across a video that gave the type of fullness that I needed. So I just came up with this method because the other methods that I was trying, it just wasn't working. So then it'll be like a ball like this. So then I found like a little, a little piece apart because through trial and error, when I was like rolling it up, I'll be so glad when this eczema coloration, this coloration goes away. I'm using shea butter on it. The, the um, flare up is gone. So I'm just working on the color now. So find your little part. I like to, you stick the crochet needle hook open stick it through there at some point just find like a little find a little middle part or whatever you're gonna take find a little string of hair out of the part that you tease there's no real science to that and then you're just gonna pull it through so then it'll be like this right because this is the part that the hair is on so i'm gonna cuff it and just kind of flip the hair over it so then it'll look like this like a little ball like this and then I go through shaping it so go through shaping it once you feel like okay I try to get the hair all the way around the part that I crochet in so then it'll be kind of like that on the tip and then I take the rubber band and I don't twist the rubber band I just put it on just like this and it helps 
to shape it a little bit better like get all the like the little scraggly ends down so it'll be it'll be like this right and so it's still some a little bit of hair left over so if i do like this and i'm like okay so what i do is just pull on the little rubber band part and it's gonna push the hair down so once it's like that you can shape it with your hand and then the little part that's left over i like to twist it and just like how this part is sticking out i'm gonna just take this part tuck it like this and then the little hair that's sticking over just gonna keep wrapping it around wrapping it around like that and so this is how it is it's sticking up Ooh. So it's sticking up like this right now because this braid is here but it's gonna be more like down like that so this is the finished style so these are just like some little cheapy hoops that i have sitting around and i do like this style with big hoops super cute i definitely will be doing this style again and so then what I do is I take the two that's on the side and I just kind of maneuver it so that it's a little to the back. I mean like that. And it's like this. So I like, I do like it like this. I do like this look. But I like that the ears are showing. So like if you need to do earbuds or your phone or something like that, you don't have to do a lot. And then when you want to just back, you just go and put it back so depending on if you mind the ear showing or if you don't mind the ear showing or if you just want to do something a little bit different um you can kind of finesse them because of the little puff wherever you kind of push it back to it'll just stay now i really like this i really really do so let me do show you guys when i do it like this and then we'll redo it and then i'll do another Keep looking at myself in here because i just want to make sure that i got it right so let me just turn around so yeah so when i do this style again um I'm gonna just add another row so the rows that i have in the back is three the bottom row is three then i have a row of four and then i have a top row of three so i think i'm gonna do three maybe two rows of four and then the row of three so i like maybe split the row so it's three four four three and then i'll have the four on the side and i see how that works out i know my way might be a little bit more tedious than other ways that people have done it on youtube but for the fullness and for the roundness for me this was the only way that i was actually able to achieve it is by taking the steps that i took it was tedious but it was very much so worth it i really really love this style i feel like i really did a good job in my very first time trying it out and i'm very very proud of myself um the women in madagascar are stunning and that woman in that picture just was everything and I found so many more pictures of beautiful women in Madagascar and so many more beautiful um hairstyles from Madagascar that just phenomenal phenomenal and then when I do this style again um, I might do like an update if I find like an easier way to do it because people were twisting it and like people were like wrapping it around and like tying it in knots to get the circle I couldn't do that it just wasn't working for me so this way it works for me so hopefully it wasn't too too crazy for you guys actually watch it along to see how I actually achieved this style so that's it you guys I will see you guys next time